You know, people are selling splash mountain water for thousands of dollars. Dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. I did not know that, though. That's pretty cool. Not as cool as the M&Ms being replaced, though, I guess. Yeah, I saw this earlier. Tragic day for all the big M&M fans. This is a cool title they're giving Maya Rudolph, though. The Chief of Fun. Cool. He's a Prime Orion and the Reese of J Money, Veggie, and Senpai, and Scurry. No, I haven't. I, I don't know that story at all, Teach On. It's Yusuf Kronos, Wraith, and Artist. Oh, they even put out a, a Twitter statement. America, let's talk. In the last year, we made some changes to our beloved Spokes Candies. We weren't sure if anyone would even notice. And we definitely didn't think it would break the internet. I hate that. I hate that expression so fucking much. I really do. That is just so awful. I Break the internet. I hate, I hate it. But now we get it. Even a candy shoes can be polarizing, which was the last thing M&M's wanted since we're all about bringing people together. Therefore, we have decided to take an indefinite pause from the spokes candies in their place. We're proud to introduce a spokesperson America, America can agree on, the beloved Maya Rudolph. We are confident Miss Rudolph will champion the... Who the fuck is this guy? He has nothing to do with M&M's. We're confident Miss Rudolph will champion the power of fun to create a world where everyone feels they belong. What are these huge statements? You make chocolate. <laughs> you just make chocolate. God damn it. What do you mean? <laughs> it's just chocolate. We're saving the world one M&M at a time. The resub Finch, Mason, Lumi, Donger, Aztec, Fiad, and the Prime Fifth. Is this set up for the Super Bowl? Yeah, I saw that floating around that this will be a bait and switch where Maya Rudolph's there for the Super Bowl commercial and she's like, Well, and then here's the spokes candies, we gotcha. And then the purple one starts busting it wide open. Is your sub torso? In the resub park. Who do I have winning the Super Bowl? I don't know, I don't even remember who's left now. Yeah, it makes sense, Teach On. Did Tucker say anything about the M&Ms this time? I don't know. He usually is like at the forefront of M&Ms and jerking off or whatever. But I don't know if he said anything about this. I don't know if he's happy or sad. Probably sad because the way he was fawning over the green one. Now she's gone. But yeah, I haven't heard from him yet. Is he tier one young koi in the bits again teach on? No, 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 no.
He did already comment on this. Check Twitter. Let me see. Is he happy or sad, I wonder? Oh, here. Was known for making candy, Milky Way, Skip. All right. Is it? Does this cause for celebration or sadness? Company Mars Oops. Inc. was known for making candy, Milky Way, Skittles, Snickers, and most famously M and M's, which they claim melted in your mouth but not in your hand. But over time, churning out delicious and highly lucrative calorie bombs was not enough for Mars. Its executives wanted to be Starbucks. Sure, our product is unhealthy, but we're woke, so please don't notice. So in its ad campaigns, Mars said about making oh, mama. as unattractive as possible because when you're intentionally repulsive, it's clear you've got the right politics. So the green M&M lost her sexy boots, the brown M&M her stiletto heels. The orange M&M, meanwhile, became a poster boy for the mental health crisis and would henceforth, quote, acknowledge and embrace his anxiety because America badly needs more neurotic candy. Then late last year, Mars went further. The company added obese and distinctly frumpy lesbian M&Ms to promote <laughs> feminism and body positivity. In other words, explain the Mars Corp. Hey, it's, it's a peanut M&M, Tucker. What do you mean? And that's a, that's a slim peanut M&M. God, I love the way he talks about them. Like, he seems so in be like beautifully passionate about the sex appeal of M&Ms. It's good to be fat. Have some more M&Ms. <laughs> well, we reported on this at the time and pledged a deeper investigation into it. But before we could complete our investigation, Mars announced that it's suspending its ad campaign. A chocolate vendor promoting obesity was just too shameless even by modern standards. What? But at CNN, they were <laughs> infuriated by the news. News anchors who have not had a carb since the Bush administration became hysterical as they defended Mars's pro-fatness campaign. CNN political analyst and notably unhappy person Kirsten Powers attacked this show for our, quote, misogynist, anti-trans, fatphobic garbage rhetoric. Congressman Richie Torres. What does this have to do with the sexy M&Ms? I don't Forbes, care. Forbes, the New York Times. Go back to talking about how hot they all were. These people are secretly being paid to flack for corporate America. Probably not. They just can't stand the idea that candy isn't political. But we're grateful it's not. We'll be right back. I, this, this went like three different ways. This went fucking cattywampus real quick. Is he happy or sad? I can't tell. I just want to know if he was happy or sad. I, like, I got so many mixed signals there. Because he was, recall, like, recalling the good old days where this was, ex in his words, extremely attractive. And then not attractive anymore because the, the sexy boots are gone. And then now she's obese and lesbian. So like it went back and forth and then he said he's happy at the end. I got so many mixed signals. Thanks, Reese of Ali, Krami. Hey Liana. And the gift sub me's. And the Reese of Tichan. In the prime chatty then hobo oh well I'm gonna miss the sexy M&Ms I still don't know what the fuck what the point was in all of this shit this is the dumbest ad campaign ever all right you guys remember the orange M&M yeah so he he has anxiety but he doesn't let it define him <laughs> oh cool yeah, I'll think about that next time I'm eating M&M's. Thanks to the Bits Wildflower. Which one got naked during one of the commercials? That was like, fuck, ten years ago? There was the one where it like, ripped off the coating? Which one got fucking nude in goat seed? Was that... It was the red one? That was the red one? Oh, it's so hype. And they ate, and they ate it once too, remember? 
I don't remember him getting eaten out. I just remember he gets naked. Thanks for your sub burger. And the resub gongu. Quick text message, hold on. Do you think the decision to get rid of the mascots will hurt the company? Man, fuck no. What? The decision to even give them lore was <laughs> useless anyway. It did nothing except... I, I mean, maybe it actually helped them because it got people talking about M&Ms. But no, I don't think it's going to fucking hurt them. It's not like... I, don't, I can't imagine there's a person out there being like, Wow, I related so hard to the orange M&M. And now he's been benched. He's been sidelined. I, I can't in good conscience eat these M&Ms anymore. <laughs> I don't see it happening. It's fucking chocolate. It's a goddamn candy. There's a prime rye. And thanks for the 10 gift subs, Wildflower. Appreciate it. You resub Mishli. Who's screaming in the background? Oh, Tiana's playing Kingdom Hearts 3. And the resub Frizzy. And the resub Jerboya. Watch Game Theory's Eminem Theory video. Why would I want to watch an Eminem Theory video? What? How is there even enough information about the Eminems to have a theory? Hey, Cannoli. Thanks for reason, man. You think M&M's each have a life story? You don't think the M&M's each have a life story? Well, I mean, now they do. Or they did. For however short a time. For a brief period, I got to really connect with them. I don't know why the purple one, Tucker, keeps calling obese. She's actually thinner than the yellow one. And the blue one. These two are very rotund. Thanks, Resub Soul. Do you think they got paid their severance? I don't know. I'm expecting twit longers from each of them, especially the orange one. About discrimination at the workplace for his anxiety or something. Th that would be... Now, that would be hype. If if Mars went the extra mile and made a Twitter account for each of them... Th then we'd be talking. Then we could have a Matt Pat game theory on it. Thanks to Resub Reckless. I 
in tier 1 technoholic in the resub Darian didn't they, didn't Kellogg's do this for Tony the Tiger and they shut it down because of furries being too horny well they didn't do this for Tony the Tiger they just made like a big push on Tony the Tiger on Twitter but then furries kept drawing porn of him so then they shut it down But it wasn't, it wasn't like this. They weren't trying to give him like some kind of crazy backstory to be relatable or anything. Why would Eminem just drop their characters? Eh, it's probably just a Super Bowl bait and switch. I don't think they actually dropped them. But if they did, I don't think it matters. Who fucking cares? What's the plan tonight? Looks like we'll be raiding tonight when the group gets together. Should make an Eminem like cinnamon toast crunch and have them just kill each other for sport. They had that Eminem commercial that used to play before movies where they were uh, secret agents and one of them gets captured and tortured. Like the prime piece, or not tortured? It was um, he's disarming a bomb and then someone's phone rings. No, for spoken comes out tomorrow, so I'll be playing it tomorrow. Someone sent me your argument with chat on CG. You're right. Most people have no idea what they're talking about. I know, man. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well, Andrew. Thanks, you sub Swifty. Legit Super Bowl ad bait. Yep. All right, swapping over. We're on the final encounter, so hopefully it won't take us too long, and then we'll go back to doing some other shit. If Forspoken actually does drop tonight,